Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 387. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 387 to 393. Hey, in this trick right here, we have uh, we want to add data validation drop down list. We have three different cells and three separate lists. Now the way this trick's going to work, here's a blank version right here with no data validation, is we could just create the drop down uh, arrow three different times. But we want to do it in one. We want to highlight this whole range and create all three drop down arrows at once. Now this trick requires that you have the lists of values that should validate the cells right next to each other. And in fact um, these are all the same size which is perfect but you could have it even a few uh, maybe one of them is a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller if you don't mind some blanks at the end. Let's see how this works. I'm going to highlight the range. Uh, and the active cell um, is where the formula is going to be created um, from, that, from that cell's point of view and it will be copied over in the data validation uh, text box. Now to get to data validation you could go there in 2007 or the data menu, data validation, or you could use your keyboard shortcut Alt DL. Now we want to allow, I'm going to hit tab and then L because I know that list is the thing I want. Allow a list. Now the source, anytime you see this you know you can go get uh, s ranges from your uh, spreadsheet. I'm just going to highlight this first range right here including that little blank. Notice these are absolute but no way. You just hit the F4 key one, two, three times and sure enough that is a relative cell reference. So just like we've seen in many videos when we do conditional formatting, a formula in memory um, in a range of cells gets pu put in as the point of view of the active cell. But that formula will be copied over in memory so that sure enough that range will move appropriately for each one of these cells. And then I'm going to click OK. And now uh, let's try it. I'm going to delete all that stuff. I'm going to come here. Sure enough, you notice the space at the end. Um, and then, tr uh, and sure enough, it did it just perfectly. Now, if you didn't want the spaces at the end, you could use some dynamic uh, uh, range or uh, a table list or um, even do it individually. But there you go. Uh, sometimes you have that situation and relative cell references or even mixed cell reference for that matter will work with data validation drop down list. All right, we'll see you next trick.